their fam, uh, you're going to be noticing the sun setting with that little light there in the background. Don't mind that, it's quite late. I thought I'd do another Food Diary Friday because you guys seem to really enjoy those videos and I like making those videos. So that's what we're gonna do again today. If you've been watching me since last year or the year before or the year before, you'll know that I am obsessed with autumn, winter. I love the colder months, the food that comes with it and the layered clothing, the blankets, the candles, all of it. I just, I kind of love how I tend to feed myself in the winter months. I actually find that it's easier to eat a little bit better when it's colder. I don't know why. I think it's because when it's cold outside, I tend to cook and bake more because I love really warming, nourishing foods and stuff like that. So I thought I'd take you through a kind of average day of what I'm eating at the moment and show you the actual recipes because I often show food and don't show how I make it. Um, I'm not a chef or a baker, what can I say? But today I'm going to show you how I make the things. We'll start off with breakfast and I've been eating this same breakfast for two weeks in a row. I learned how to make porridge bread and it is literally what it says on the tin. It's made out of porridge, oats, and yogurt. And the only other ingredients are a tablespoon of oil, and optional is a tablespoon of honey to give it that sweetness, and a raising agent. So I'm gonna show you here how I make the bread. and you'd be surprised how much it tastes like brown bread but the texture of it is just really gorgeous the yogurt I think gives it that lovely texture this is a great hit of fiber and then the bit of protein and fat in the yogurt it's like perfect for me and then I like to top that with a little bit of grass-fed butter and some marmalade I love marmalade and in summer I usually have more jam but marmalade is where it's at nowadays so a couple of slices of the bread and sometimes I'll have some mandarins or grapefruit on the side sometimes I might have a little bit of vanilla soya yogurt with some raspberries on the top that's really really lovely my go-to autumn lunch which is really easy is a wholemeal pita bread and some hummus and some chopped slice of vegetables I got myself a food processor to make like things like hummus and stuff but I still keep buying this hummus from Tesco because I just love it. It's the Moroccan hummus and I love the flavorings in it. So I'm gonna try and learn how to make this myself. I'll leave a basic hummus recipe though in the description box, which I have made twice lately and it's really nice. Um, but yeah, so I'll just have carrots and celery and uh, wholemeal pita bread and sometimes I'll put the hummus in the pita bread and eat that and then dip vegetables into the hummus but it's just really nice light nourishing filling and then a snack that I like to have if I do get peckish is um, a wholemeal pita bread again with some peanut butter chopped up banana and cinnamon in there cinnamon is such a nice Thing to have around this time of year. I'll be drenching my food in this in the run up to Christmas because I'm cinnamon obsessed. It's very good for you too. If you're trying to eat less sugar too, it just gives that nice little mm, that, mm, that little kick to your food. And all these flavors combine so well together and taste delicious. Dinner time, and my favorite thing that I've been making lately, and I'm addicted to this, is chocolate chili. It's a veggie one, and I got the recipe from a Jamie Oliver superfood book he has these two superfood cookbooks that i showed in my last favorites video i love them there's so many good recipes in them get them but this is really easy you do the whole thing in a casserole dish in the oven and it makes for great leftovers for lunches and stuff like that as well so i'm going to show you now how i make that <laughs> I know we're going somewhere 
yourself aside Lead the way on this trial If you don't know the way We can stop and make a change I know we walk for days Losing hope, fading love This night will be okay Waking up to another You guys know that I like having a bit of dark chocolate and a little glass of red wine, which I'm still doing. I've been trying out these. Can you see this there? It's organic raw chocolate. And this is a mint one. I am addicted to the raspberry ones. The brand is Magic Mayan. And there is no dairy in these and they really hit the spot. I love raw chocolate. It's like cold when you eat it. It's gorgeous. But also, my friends, I need to take the glasses off for this. Give the hair of a bit of a whoosh. These. <coughs> Y'all know I love a bit of naked, but this is the posh bits. They've got posh ones now. Cocoa Mandarin. Um, the Cocoa Orange Naked Bars are actually just sex. I love them. These ones though have a bit more depth of flavor. I don't know if that makes sense. On the back it says that they've added some dark chocolate and some zingy mandarin yeah as it's sunset i'll just eat a couple of these just to show you um but they're like little balls like this and oh oh if you like terry's chocolate orange or anything like that you'll love these guilt-free delight 100 percent natural raw fruit and nut bits no added sugar gluten-free so any of you with intolerances or anything like that get your ass onto these because they's good so that was another food diary friday i hope you enjoyed that I got to go and do a bit more writing. Oh god, I don't like glasses on me. I look weird. My fringe is not cooperating today either. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want me to do these like every week or every two weeks, let me know what would be better in the comments for regularity. Because uh, I don't want to like just have a food channel. I do lots of stuff on this channel as you guys know. So I'm going to go. I'll see you again in another video soon where I'll probably be introducing my kitten. Got a new kitten and I adore her to Oh, she's just the best thing. I've... Oh, I gotta go. Goodbye. Farewell.